Hey everyone, welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. Today's Desktop Tuesday is a public service announcement. To all of you playing with European keyboards, or an Azerty, Dvorak, or Tolkien keyboard, like our own engineer Justin who types in Tangwar, or to all of you who are used to playing Dwarf Fortress, or The Sims, or another game whose keyboard shortcuts you absolutely love, and to all of you who want to play with just a keyboard and remap everything so you don't need a mouse, Alpha 21 finally adds the centralized key remapping support you've been asking for for the last three years. We don't have a UI for this yet, but to unlock the ability to navigate the game exactly as you want, you merely have to go to the folder where Stonehearth is installed and find a file called stonehearth.json. JSON is a way of encoding data in key value pairs. We use it all over Stonehearth to record static data about our objects. In this JSON file under bindings, the top level keys describe the command, like opening the citizens manager, or camera pan back or forward. The interior keys give you two options, combo 1 and combo 2, for mapping those commands to keyboard shortcuts. To change these settings for your keyboard, open a second file, usersettings.json, and create a top level section called user bindings. Copy the commands you want to change into this section and edit combo 1 or combo 2 to be the keys that you'd prefer. For example, if you play with a keyboard only and would like to remap camera zoom to something more convenient than shift s and shift w, copy these settings out of stonehearth.json and into usersettings.json and assign them to whatever keys you'd prefer. Engineer Carl, who put together this feature to get to know the Stonehearth codebase, has even managed to get key bindings working with a controller, except that of course Stonehearth has about 60 key bindings and a standard controller has 12 buttons, so that's a UX problem for another day. While we're on the topic of keys, let's talk about a little extra something that got into Alpha 21 as an exercise to help Engineer Justin learn more about our camera, the Stonehearth Follow Cam. When selecting the hearthling, merely press J, J for Justin, but also J because it was a, one of the only two keys that weren't already bound to another shortcut, to activate follow cam on that hearthling. This is pretty useful if you want to understand the flow of work around your town, or if you just like to chill out and watch your building go up. Why, you might ask, did we get these two features into Alpha 21 when they've been missing for so long and when there's so much else to be done? It's a good question, and the answer is that Stonehearth recently added a few new engineers to the team. Angelo and Justin full-time, and Carl, as it turns out, for just a few months between other projects. When you're new to a giant codebase like Stonehearth's that uses a custom engine, it's often best to get your feet wet on small projects that will teach you the existing systems, rather than a new, large project that may encourage you to add code without understanding the perils that lie beneath. Stonehearth's key bindings were implemented three different horrible ways behind the scenes, and were distributed through all three layers of the codebase, C++, Lua, and JavaScript. The key binding exercise touched, cleaned out, and unified all this code in addition to setting us up for future quality of life improvements like the ability for UX designer Nikki to sanitize the assignments easily once all the features are complete. The camera exercise taught Justin about not just the camera, but about the hairy quaternion math required to manipulate it, and about our update and refresh loops. And that's it for this week! Alpha 22 is underway in the background of this update, with the team distributed among some near-term gameplay projects like adding depth to our hearthling interaction system, and some long-term projects like water and building updates. In the meantime, let us know how Alpha 21 is working out for you here in the comments or on our forum at discourse.stonehearth.net. See you next week!